Hi there, Gemini. <clears throat> I hope you guys are doing well. Marcel and I are here to do another reading for you. My apologies for this to, um, to, to have taken so long to get out to you. Um, I've had a lot going on, but I have some time to do this now, so I will read for you. Uh, as you can see, I've already shuffled your cards and put them on the table. We'll definitely be doing clarifiers, but, um, you know, I just figured that would save some time for uploading just because it can take anywhere from two to three hours for, you know, a 20, 30 minute video to upload, which is ridiculous, but that's the stuff. So <clears throat> first off, let me just go through the cards with you. I hope you can see them. You have the King of Wands, the Nine, I'm sorry, the King of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, the Lovers, your energy, Gemini, Queen of Coins, <clears throat> and then you have the Queen of Swords, your energy. You've got the Ten of Wands, the High Priestess, and you have the Three of Wands in reverse with the Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Now, what I was asking is the energy that is present between you and your partner, but it's interesting in this reading because this would be your energy, their energy, and it goes back and forth depending upon what it is. This is a general reading, so this is not going to resonate with everybody, but for whom it does resonate, the situation may be um, helpful. <clears throat> so... It's interesting because I'm definitely feeling in here third-party energy, third-party energy. So I'm going to say that now, and if you're not in a situation like that, it's not your reading, you know. But for whom those that, for those whom are dealing with energies of that nature, um, this may be for you. So <clears throat> their energy or your energy, what we're dealing with is a partner who is the King of Wands. So the King of Wands is somebody who takes action in his life. He is, he's powerful. He moves forward towards what he wants. He's responsible. He gets things done. Um, he commits. He wants to make sure that things are going forward and he's very, you know, forthright in that. He's coming with the three of pentacles. So this is basically talking about connections. And the word that I'm immediately getting is commitments and through connection. And it's like stabilizing something. You have the other partner here with the lovers and the queen of coins. Now, it's interesting, Gemini, because I feel that you're down here. I feel that you're the Queen of Swords here. <clears throat> Not just because it's your sign and your card, but this is the energy I feel for you. So the partner, it should be you, and then the outcome here. Um, you know, it's interesting because it's like we have the King of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, then we have the lovers and the queen of coins. I almost feel like you may be dealing with somebody who has something on the side or maybe some sort of like connection between you is dissolved, but they have somebody that they want to move forward with. And there's conflict in all of this, conflict between you and them, conflict between the other person and potentially you. And what I feel here is that you guys are like, I'm done, I don't want to deal with this, you know. This person, this Queen of Coins, um, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, or just whomever, um, it could be somebody that was kept secret. You have them crowning the High Priestess. Um, this information may be coming out to you now, but the, yeah, it's it's kind of like, you're you're tired of this. And I feel, too, this person, the male aspect of this, or it doesn't have to be male, but the person here, the King of Wands, I feel that there is an energy of guilt, or, you know, it's like, this didn't work out, and I'm sorry, but it went this way, but this is where I want to be. And it's like, you can't fight that, you can't make something happen, you can't create something from nothing, like, you can't make somebody be a certain way. So it's almost as if, like, kind of a acceptance of where this situation is leading, and I feel like you're just kind of frustrated by it and letting it go. Jesus, this is not a nice reading. It's not terrible, but I did a reading for you and I was I made it a bonus. And I'm just like, I need to give Gemini a different reading because that was harsh. And this one is harsh. And I don't know, you guys. I don't know. Anyways... Yeah, there's a lot of conflict here, and it feels like, you know, with this three of sor three of wands in reverse here coming at the end, the outcome, <clears throat> it's like you're bouncing. You're not really even interested in this. It's not something that you want to deal with anymore. Go ahead and be on your own. Do this thing with this person. I'm going this way. I'm letting it go, you know. So let's go ahead and clarify. Show me the king of wands in this situation, please. And it's falling right on the queen of swords, so that's the connection there. 
the lovers. <clears throat> so you are their lover, they have another lover. That's conflict here. We have the five of wands at the bottom of the deck, conflict. <clears throat> That's your card, Gemini, the lovers. And this is the connection between you, but it's also the situation that this person's dealing with. Show me the three of pentacles here. For Okay, so you have the seven of pentacles um, and the three of swords. Now that's an interesting combination, especially in regard to the three of pentacles. This is basically feeling to me like this person. It's like what I was in previously was not happy for me. I've evaluated it. I've looked at it from every angle. And no matter how I slice it, it doesn't feel good. It brings me heartache. It brings me frustration. Here, we have the opportunity to go with somebody else that feels good, that we want to connect with. This is a bittersweet reading, and it's more bitter than sweet. Because it doesn't leave you feeling very good, Gemini. Jesus, I almost want to like just not do this reading. I'm not picking those up. I'm putting them back in the deck. Show me the lovers here for the person that the King of Wands is dealing with. Three of Pentacles. So this is this is both parties wanting to do this. And then here, the tower at the bottom of the deck. This is the information coming through. I don't know if this is a complete shock to you, whomever this reading is for. I don't know if this is a complete shock to you or you knew about this. <clears throat> Aside from the High Priestess being here under the Queen of Coins, it's in the row with the Queen of Swords. So you may have secretly known this, and now the information's coming out. It's frustrating. Show me the Queen of Coins here. Show me the Queen of Coins. <clears throat> Ten of Cups. With the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So what's going on here, Gemini? I feel like whomever this is for, ugh, you have somebody who you've been with, either I don't know how long, but it feels like they're moving towards another person and where they're actually finding happiness. <clears throat> and the consideration in regard to what is in the past, it's like they've done their evaluation and they realize this past does not bring them happiness and it doesn't bring you happiness either. So why hold on to it? Like sometimes we have to cut the cord, sometimes we have to let go, but it doesn't make it easy. Jesus. And the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck for this coming out, this is basically indicating to me that this person lights this other person up. There's a fair amount of happiness between them. This could be you, and this could be another person that they're dealing with. It's going to be up to you to piece that together. Okay? You may be having a wonderful, you know, upsurge of love and connection and figuring things out, but it comes from a place where there's been turbulence. It comes from a place where there's been frustration. I feel this is you. And I feel that you're kind of having to swallow a very bitter pill here. Um, the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck for this Ten of Cups and the Queen of Coins. This is basically somebody who is very much in love. Somebody who's very nurturing, very sweet. Somebody who you can connect with. You know, somebody that they can feel fiery and excited about. Okay, show me the Queen of Swords for this situation. Show me the Queen of Swords for this situation for Gemini. Two cards coming out. You have the King of Swords here, <clears throat> and you also have the Ace of Wands. So the King of Swords, he's kind of in a neutral position here. He's um, sideways. You know, the King of Swords is about being upright, truthful. It's about getting to the information, communicating, um, you know, being incredibly logical and separating your emotional side from your logical aspect. Um, here we have the King and Queen of swords here okay he's fallen on the ten of wands again there's this energy where it's like i feel the connection between you there's guilt for feeling this way with somebody else and going towards somebody else but there's also <clears throat> all right we have to talk about it we have to deal with it you know in reverse this person can be very cold they can be calculating they cannot come with all of the truth they can um manipulate things sideways i almost feel like they're not they haven't been 100% honest, but they're willing to be honest now. 
<clears throat> and this is what's going on on their mind. This is what they're headed towards, the Ten of Pentacles here. Um, they've got the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands. I would really love to believe that that's you, and I hope that that's you, Gemini. But what I'm feeling does not feel that way. It feels like this Ace of, Ace of Wands is on their mind with this person, but they have to communicate and connect here, even though there's a fair amount of guilt or frustration that they harbor about this with you. Show me the Ten of Wands. So you have the Two of Pentacles falling on the Three of Pentacles with the Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. This is about juggling. It's about freeing yourself, letting yourself go from a situation that is not helpful to you any longer. It's not something that you can sustain or sustain with this person and it's moving forward it's almost ugh, the way that this reading is going it's almost as if I'm like having this open window and watching these two people and kind of you're in the background it's almost as if like a highlight of these two people's energies together I would love if this was your energy if you were super happy <clears throat> with somebody but it feels like there's that's not the case the four of wands at the bottom of the deck for that card is essentially what makes me happy, what makes me, you know, feel a, a weight has been lifted. This is a burden, the Ten of Wands. <clears throat> it's a burden that we, we willingly we willingly hold, we, we carry it. You know, it needs to be um, disassembled. It's not healthy. You know, you need to turn your back to that type of energy, Gemini. You can't control somebody for if they fall in love with somebody else. It hurts, but you can't control that. This is about stabilizing energies. It's about connection. It's about taking your relationship to the next phase. And I feel that that's what's going on for this person. And again, you guys may be this situation and you may be dealing with somebody. You may be dealing with another air sign or dealing with somebody who feels very frustrated by this energy. But no matter how you slice it, you have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords and there's disruption here between them and I feel like he definitely has this ace of wands on his mind with this situation <clears throat> show me the high priestess here show me the high priestess for Gemini so you have the seven of wands so the seven of wands is about conflict and if it's if we're kind of keeping this within ourselves, it's internal conflict. The conflict card here, the five of wands at the bottom of the deck for everything, is the over, overall energy presiding over this reading. So you have a situation that's already conflictual. You have guilt, you have frustration, you have communication, but you also have like, I'm, I'm, I care about you, I'm sorry about this, but I'm going here. That's what I feel, you know? Um, hmm. With the Seven of Wands, this is about finding new perspective. It's about understanding the situation in a different way. Sometimes it's high anxiety situations, sometimes feeling very on guard. Sometimes it's about fighting constantly, um, internal battles, secret battles within the situation. That can also be in regard to jealousy here as well with somebody coming through, you know? I feel that most definitely. It's a, it doesn't feel good to not be picked. It doesn't feel good to have somebody take your partner or your connection fall apart with your partner. Jesus, I really wanted to give you guys a nice reading. Show me the, the three of wands in reverse. The three of wands in reverse. Good Gemini, thank you. So you have the star in reverse here. Um, the star in reverse is not it's not opening up, it's not healing, it's um, disregarding your feelings. Sometimes it is feeling like the path that was once so important to you, you're no longer on it and you choose to step away from it. And that's also the energy within the Three of Wands as well. It's giving up on something that you thought was really for you, feeling like you're not being seen, feeling like you're not being recognized for your effort here, Gemini, and somebody else is going elsewhere. <clears throat> oh man. It's a card of not healing, and I think that there's going to be a necessity to heal after this. Show me this. Okay. The Five of Wands. Let's see what we have to say about the Five of Wands. There you are. The Queen of Swords and the Six of Swords. What an excellent connection What um, or combination to have for that Five of Wands. 
Seriously, you guys. <clears throat> and then on the bottom of the deck, even better, the Empress. So there had to be a silver lining here. Thank you, Jesus. I'm picking up on too much of this energy, and it feels like two people in like that beginning stages of like love relationship. I love you and everything. You know, let's let's stay in bed together for three days. You know, and like whatever. I don't want to. I'm going to stop because I don't want to rub that energy in. If that's what's going on, that hurts. And I don't mean to hurt you <clears throat> by saying things. Um, so here for the Five of Wands, it's basically with the Queen of Swords here and the Six of Swords, it's choosing to no longer be part of this. It's choosing, choosing to no longer stay within a conflictual energy about this. It's like facing the truth, even if it's fucking hard. She looks rough. She does not look like she's easy going right now. <laughs> It doesn't feel good. That's what I'm saying. But the Six of Swords talks about leaving problematic situations behind, taking that and leaving. The problem here with the Six of Swords, though, too, is that he's got them in the boat and he's taking them with him. Like, they're, they need to be left over where you're leaving from. You don't want to take the swords with you. This is harboring grudges. It's harboring resentment. <clears throat> That's frustrating. It doesn't allow you to heal. But that is also part of the healing process. Just don't live there. Don't stay there in that energy for forever, okay? The Empress at the bottom of the deck is essentially an energy where we are stepping up into our own power. We're moving forward in life. We're creating abundance. We're nurturing ourselves. We're nurturing our experience. You know, it can also, sometimes it's also, hey, I need to go stay with my mom or my sister or my aunt or friend, you know, <clears throat> after something like this. Ugh. But it's a card of prosperity. It's a card of positivity and awareness, opening things up and changing your life in a different way. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, um, yeah, sorry. Give me one second. So, okay, I feel that this is interesting. It's like chopped up energy. You have passion and you have express your love. And I think that's what's going on for these two people here. I hope you're one of them. I, mean, I hope that somebody's leaving somebody behind. But what I'm feeling here, Gemini, is that this is your energy and this is a partner going into something with somebody else. If it's flipped around, God bless it, because that's much better than what I'm feeling here. I'm feeling that this Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords, though, is pretty hurt about this. There's a lot of grudge energy. There's a lot of frustration because the partner that they were with is feeling painful. Or, I'm sorry, they're feeling painful about the partner that they were with going in with somebody else. But the thing about it is, the connection with this person, with you, it wasn't happy for them. <clears throat> so, and here, we have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And at the bottom of the deck, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Now, I don't know how you're going to put that together, but, you know, I feel that there's a necessity here for this Queen of Swords to love herself first, to be on board with her first, um, and paying attention to the red flags. I don't know how that's going to tie in with you, but whatever it is, it is. Again, passion, express your love. I think that this is what's happening here. This feels like new love. It feels like new, I don't know, new something here. Um, <clears throat> can I? Can I please get here. Let me, <laughs> oh my God, I'm talking to myself like a crazy person. Please give me advice. Please give me advice for Gemini. And I hope I haven't been calling you Libra. This is a Gemini reading. Show me advice for Gemini, please. Okay. You have two cards popping out. Let's see what's up. Five of cups, King of swords. Yeah, this person feels guilt about it, but, you know, it's still, it's still moving forward. They're still moving forward here. It's something that it's not going to be able to be controlled. And, you know, if you have it in you to wish them well, wish them well. But I feel like there's a significant separation here between you. And also here, too, you have the Nine of Wands at the bottom of the deck. This is about creating incredible boundaries with people. 
<clears throat> it's also about feeling defensive. If you're holding on to grudges, it pushes you further away from people, that kind of energy. It's just not being, not wanting to be present with somebody, not feeling like you can trust them, not feeling like you want to be around them, and creating some significant boundaries and barriers, which are very healthy. Okay, show me, what does Gemini need to hear? What does Gemini need to know? Okay, so you have Peridot. 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 All right, let's check out Peridot here. Peridot, emotional cleansing. Peridot frees the mind of unwelcome, envious thoughts and night terrors. It is transmutative, transmutative and purifying. Okay, so let's stop there. It frees the mind of unwelcome, envious thoughts. Yes, there's a lot of envy, there's jealousy that I'm feeling here, for sure, in this situation. Because why wouldn't you, if you're being not being picked over by somebody else and there's like an explosion of passion and lovey-dovey gooiness over here and you're getting shit? That's not a comfortable energy to be in. <clears throat> okay, you are deeply emotional and may pu possessively cling to the past or beat yourself up over mistakes. By nature, jealous... <laughs> By nature jealous, you have dark thoughts. Detoxify your emotions, learn to forgive and let go. Follow your own life path without judging yourself or being envious of others. You have the power to go through fiery transmutation and emerge transformed. Use energy wisely. Recognize how outside influences operate in your life. Develop your own protection. Learn to rely on your own inner guidance. Perido indicates farewells and disappointment in love. Avoid jealousy. Be assertive without aggression. You have a powerful destiny and great integrity. Money is earned from your talents. Envy and jealousy harm you as well as hurting others. <clears throat> so the frequency is earthy to high. Uh, the chakras, heart, solar plexus, timing, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius. And the soul path is emotional purification. Everything that this card is talking about is what we've all talked about in this reading already, Gemini. So I'm going to let this go here. I hope that this reading was helpful for you. I know it's incredibly specific, and I know that the bonus reading I have for you is super fucking heavy, too. And I wanted something lighter. That's why I was trying to give you a second reading. This is the second reading, and it's not so light. It's not so light. <clears throat> I can't even remember what the other one was about, but it was heavy. And I almost don't want to put it out, but I'm going to because I've already talked about it here. So, yeah, if this was helpful, if this is your situation, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And if you choose to donate, there's a link in the description box below. And I will talk to you guys in like a week or so, just because I was late at this. I hope I will be on time with the next reading. Um, heal yourself, Gemini. Feel, you know, do things that are going to be helpful for you to feel better. This isn't, this isn't a good feeling. All right. Take care, you guys. Have a good time. Bye-bye.